Good morning, YouTube. It's your boy Matt with yet another video with River Hype Shy. Um, it's the beginning of a new month. Here we are. And uh, yeah, I mean, August is going to be a pretty stellar month once again. We got a lot of, a lot of hype sneakers coming out this month. And I cannot wait to get through the top 10 sneakers of the month of August. All right, coming in at number 10 is going to be the Nike Dumped Low Camos. Uh, this one is pretty low on the list. Um, there was a few things I was debating to put in at number 10. Um, ultimately, I decided on the Nike Dunk Low Camos. This is your Duck Dynasty collaboration. I'm just messing with you. It's not. But um, the reason why I put this on there is because of different materials that is used on it. Obviously, near the front area of the toe area, um, it's got that camouflage kind of print. Um, now, towards the back end you do have a little bit more of a canvas material right where the swoosh is so it's a very unique shoe mixed in with the tumble leather and the canvas material um kind of sets up fall you know camo and uh, fall go hand in hand like peanut butter or jelly right there um yeah this one's not too bad it's not too shabby um it's a dunk, so it'll be cheap. It'll probably be at that $100 price point. And then on top of it, you know, all dunks resell. So you'll be able to make some type of money. I don't see it going too crazy. Um, probably looking at about that 170 price range on resale for me. That's my prediction for it. But sitting at number 10 is going to be your Nike Dunk Low Camo. All right, coming in at number 9 is going to be two shoes. I'm going to put them kind of both together there are another pair of nike dunk lows uh first one we do have right here is the uh, nike dunk low purple pulse and then the second one i also put a picture of it is the yellow strike um the reason why i'm putting them both together is because they look very similar one's just yellow one's just purple and they both kind of have this like tie-dye effect uh the best way i could describe it it's it looks very similar to uh, a few years ago with the Jordan 1 uh, Turbo Greens and then recently earlier this year, the Jordan 1 Hyper uh, Royals. Um, it's got a cool little tie-dye effect to it. Wish they weren't dropping this dunk so close to the end of summer, but it's still a nice shoe. Um, I could see these doing some damage. Um, of course, you know, it's your dunk, so it's gonna be about that $100 price point. Some dunks are 110, some are 100, so it's going to be around that area. These are definitely going to resell for over 200. I guarantee you, I'm looking probably 220 to 230 on the resale for it. Um, yeah, I'm hyped for these. I think these would be very cool to get. Um, would I keep them? Not too sure. Um, this is one of those I have to see in hand first to make my final decision on. I do personally like the purple one a lot more than the yellow, um, which is weird because yellow is kind of a hot color that's happening this year um, because you do have foreshadow for a little bit down the line. You do have uh, the lightnings, the pollens, uh, earlier you did have the Nike Dunks uh, high, the Iowa color or the poor man Wu-Tangs. Um, there was the hype behind the off-white uh, yellow uh, dunks or Air Force ones I should say a lot of yellow a lot of people like the hype of that color but me personally I do like the purple in this version more of the purple pulse but that is your top nine sneaker of the month all right sitting at number eight is gonna be a Yeezy slide coming fresh off of Yeezy day and the disaster that was we have a new Yeezy slide coming out in the glow green colorway. Um, nothing left to say. It's just a Yeezy slide. Um, deserves to be up on the list. These shoes are hella comfortable. Um, I recommend anyone who gets them just sell it right away because if you do put it on, you're, you're going to want to keep them because of how comfortable they are. Um, they're dangerous. Um, super cheap. 
gonna resell really high. It's a glow green colorway. It's it's just gonna work. It's just it's easy. They're coming out with a lot more vibrant colors. You still have your neutral, your earth tones, and then you also got your kind of like random pop of color shoes, and this is that random pop of color shoe and that glow green. That's why it's at number eight. All right, and at number seven, um, didn't know much about this shoe, and then I saw it on the release date coming this month, and I was like, ooh, these kind of hit. So at number seven is going to be the Nike Dunk High Light Chocolate. Um, I don't know, something about brown shoes for me, it's super wearable, it's super awesome. I think that is why I really enjoy, I'm looking for it right there. Uh, the mochas, uh, those were such a beautiful shoe. And here we go with the dunk version of it. Uh, once again, just very similar to earlier, why I put the camos on the list. This has got multiple different types of textures and materials used again. You got your tumbled leather, it looks like you got some suede, and then you also got some new buck. Um, if you look at it, it does look like the white part right here that is a little bit more of a suede, while the dark brown is a little bit more of a new buck. It's a lot more textured than your regular suede. And then, of course, you got your leather throughout it as well. It is a crazy shoe. I really dig this dunk. Um, this is a dunk that if I got, I would keep. I just think it's a very cool, unique shoe. Um, playing with a whole bunch of different colors, a lot of browns, a lot of whites. I mean, what else can you say? It's just a clean shoe, the light chocolate, and at number seven. All right, coming in at number six is going to be your undefeated dunk on it. Um, we thought this was going to kind of come out with that Air Force One versus dunk collaboration that they were doing, but all we got were just the canteens for it but not the on it so this one uh, me personally I did like the canteen visually in pictures before this one um, and then of course when we did the review I saw that it was not that good the quality control is bad the material wasn't that good um, this one people seem when they got it in hand they like this one a lot more this one is reselling for way more than all the other ones um, just like um, on the canteen version, you do have your canvas material right there in the middle. You do have your leather. You got the undefeated logo on the back uh, uh, back heel, heel area um, near towards the toe. You do have this reptilian kind of texture, so it makes it a little bit different. Once again, we all know how I like when we mesh a bunch of different materials together. Um, bright vibrant blue um it's just missing out on the top five um i think personally because of what i experienced when i got the air force ones and the dunks in person so it's not higher up on the list in fact thinking back maybe i might even swap the the light chocolates and the onnits it's like right there like hand in hand for me um but these will resell because it, you can already see how much they're going. This is rumored to drop here in the month of August. Um, but yeah, the undefeated Dunk Low in the Onyx colorway and at number six. All right, coming in at number five is the Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboards. Whoever thought I would be putting a Jordan 1 Low on a top 10 list let alone in the top five we are getting into the fall colors look at that uh we had the the light chocolates a, a little bit ago we had the camels at number 10 and now we got the shattered backboards an iconic colorway for fall um especially in october you have your iconic orange white and black all up inside of this beautiful leathered jordan one low shoe like there is nothing left to say, but this is definitely a must cop. This is definitely something that's going to resell. This is definitely going to be a shoe that you're going to want to have. Um, I prefer the Jordan 1 highs, of course. Um, 
I do like this one better than the Shutter Backboard 3.0s, um, which I will tell everyone for the Shadow Backboard 3.0s, definitely check it out in person. Uh, the pictures don't really do it justice. When you see it pictures on Instagram or whatever website you go to, it does look a lot more crinkled than in person. It just comes off that way. I think it's because of the camera, the flash, uh, whatever angle it is, the light hitting it. Um, but it's not as bad as it looks in person, trust me. Uh, but yeah, this is still better than that. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful colorway. Um, I really look forward to getting my hands on one of these um, just to even just take a look at it and examine it better. It does look like I have pre uh, premium leather on it, so I do look forward to uh, trying to cop these Nike uh, Jordan 1 lows in the shattered backboard colorway. I can't believe it. I'm still laughing and thinking that a Jordan 1 low is on my list. But yeah, that's at number 5. Alright, coming in at number 4 is going to be your off-white Deer Summer. That's what the whole collection is called. It's called Deer Summer. And Deer Summer, it should have came out earlier in the year of the summer. But you know what? Even though it's the end of the summer, we're still getting it. Um, honestly, I personally only like shoe number one out of the entire collection. Other than that, every other shoe is just literally a different string color to it. It's just... Okay, I'm sure, like, some of them have leather, some of them is, like, suede, I get that, but it's literally the same color, but a different drawstring to it, except for, obviously, number 50 is different, and number one, um, I believe it kind of looks like the, if I'm not mistaken, it's the complex kind of looking style. But, beside the point, it is definitely high up there, because a lot of people are going to try to go after it, it's going to resell, it's off-white, it's going to, it's, it has to be high up on the list. Um... I just have a very weird feeling about uh, this dropping on sneakers. Um, they've been dropping a lot of polls uh, or questions, and they've been dropping a few videos. I think we're up to four videos right now hyping it up. Um, my weird feeling about it, and I know they've done this before um, recently with that um, the SBs. They did that, like, I think seven-part video of, like, the history of the SBs. And if you watch every video, you got exclusive access to a, an SB dunk. Um, I have a really weird feeling that, once again, we're going to have that effect with this. Um, so I do recommend everyone out there just to watch at least those videos. I don't think you can go back in time and kind of reply to all those, like, questions or polls that they had. But I, every time I saw it, I just kind of, you know, put my two cents into the polls. And I've been watching the videos. Um, just fingers crossed that I get, you know, like exclusive access or something like that. Um, I really would like to get pair number one. If I don't, it is what it is. I will try to get any other colorway and just go from there and see what the market tells us what it is. And hope that it's worth something. I don't see the prices going too crazy because there's so many different colorways, which leaves a lot of options for people to get a pair, obviously. So that's going to bring down the market when you have 50 different pairs of the shoe, obviously. But in at number four is going to be the entire 50 collection of the off-white shoes called Deer Summer. All right, we're into the top three, and this is where the controversy begins for a lot of people. Um, I know a lot of people are going to have three and two flip-flop, and that's okay. That's your opinion. This is my opinion, and this is my YouTube channel. All right, coming in at number three is the Jordan 1 Pollens. So, with the Jordan 1 Pollens, everyone's hyped up on it. I don't understand why... I th it's just because it's a Jordan one. I get it, I guess. But there wasn't this type of hype for the Dunk Highs in this exact same colorway than it is with the Jordan one. And I guess it's just because it's the Jordan one silhouette. It is what it is. Um, but the Jordan one pollen, obviously black and yellow. Everyone loves it. You know, Wu-Tang colorway, I guess you could also call it. 
Um, and just from the picture, you can just see how tumbled this leather is. So you have your kind of more typical regular kind of leather with the, with the yellow and then with the black. If you look at any picture, that black is super, uh, super, super, super tumbled. And it just looks like it's going to be a clean, clean Jordan 1. This is up there for a lot of people's top Jordan 1s of the year. Um, honestly, I could see this being up there on my top list as well. Um, I do personally like the Trophy Room, uh, you know, Jordan 1s better. The um the iced out ones but that is just my personal preference uh i know there's a lot of controversy with that shoe so a lot of people just automatically dismiss it but take that shoe for what it is that shoe is beautiful and if you all had a chance to get it you would want it um but and at number three we do have the pollens i think it's a beautiful black and yellow colorway super tumbled leather i cannot stress that enough i know i said that probably uh, like two other times in this but this one is premium a grade leather do not miss out on this this is going to go through the roof i see this easily starting off around 4 30 and it's just going to continue going up uh throughout the months all right coming in at number two like i said the controversy be, uh begins now you see what it is it is the jordan 4 lightnings the re-release version of it i know it's a little bit different uh kind of muted yellow to it than the original but i like this jordan 4 more than i like the jordan 1 pollens that's just my personal preference um i am super excited to get it my boy uh john he is doing a few raffles right now he's guaranteeing um to have a size 10 once it does release um i am trying to get those um, I lost an earlier raffle, um, didn't hit it, it is what it is, um, hopefully the guy who won the raffle is not going to pick this shoe, because I will try to do another raffle with, uh, my boy John, and try to get these in the collection, um, that would be awesome if I get it for free, uh, just thinking that would be so, so epic, but I, even if I do get it from him, that's not going to stop me from trying to get it again on Sneakers app, or any other retailer on the foot sites. I'm still going to try to get it because it's going to resell. Um, it's not going to resell as high as the Jordan 1 Pollens. I will tell you that. I already know that for a fact. 100% guaranteed. These are probably going to push around 350 If I have to, I will spend resell on this shoe. I really want this shoe. I think this is a beautiful shoe. I need it. I love, like, the gray, the black. Like, the black that they have on it for, you know, the nuts. It's like... I feel like it's a muted, but it's not so much of a gray like it is down at the bottom of the shoe. I just think all the colors in this is beautiful. I want it. And at number two is going to be your Jordan 4 Lightnings. Can't wait. Is there any doubt what number one was going to be for the month of August? Let's be real. Coming in at number one is going to be the Fragment Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Lows. And this is coming up after my last video of the disaster that was the Travis Scott website and how the bots ate up the Jordan 1 high versions of this. Um, a lot of people dig the lows a lot more. Me personally, I like the highs better. I know, controversial opinion once again. I'm just, I guess I'm different than everyone else. <laughs> but this one is still a nice shoe. Um, there is going to be a lot more quantities of this shoe than everywhere else there's going to be a lot more tier uh zero uh nike stores that will be getting them so you know if you have a tier zero nike store in your area uh, definitely fill out the raffle it doesn't hurt to try um a lot more sites are probably going to have it i know and is going to have it um so you got end clothing you're probably going to have kith uh, I'm on Meneer's website. They're gonna have it a whole bunch of place. Just you know do yourself You know your service go to a sneaker news or whatever sneaker website you go to find out what places have in the raffles fill them out Do it probably avoid trophy room because no one's ever hit on that I've never met anyone in the history of my life to ever hit on trophy rooms website So I wouldn't even bother with that 
But if you want to, go ahead. I mean, it's going to take you two seconds to fill out the form anyways. But there's a lot more available on this. This is going to drop on sneakers. It is loaded up on their uh, app. So we know it's coming. Unlike the Jordan 1 uh, High version, it was supposed to drop. It's never loaded on the site. And we still don't know when those are going to drop. Maybe they're going to drop at the same time. Maybe if you hit the Jordan 1 and you scroll down, and you know how usually you see the infant, maybe you'll see the Jordan uh, High. That would be really cool. Bots would not expect that. I don't think it would be, you know, a terrible idea to do that. Beside the point, Travis Scott's website, you need to figure something out. Do what Union did. You know, like, I forgot what shoe it was, but, like, what color is an orange? And you had to type in an orange. It made it, like, actually cop in the shoe for manual people doable because bots couldn't get around that. It was awesome. It took a long time for bots to try to, like, figure, like, type in their code to go around that. So, like, we need something like that. Travis Scott, please do us that favor. You owe us that favor. Let manual people, even if I don't even hit on it, at least knowing that the regular Joe can hit on these shoes that are worth, you know, X amount of money. Like, I know resale right now, StockX is 3,000 plus. These are not gonna stay at 3,000 plus because there's a lot more uh, quantity available for this shoe, so it's gonna drop. It is 100% going to drop. So if for some odd reason you do have this, sell it now before it does drop because I guarantee you this is not going to stay at $3,000. It's going to drop down. It's easily going to drop. Yeah, no doubt about it. But once again, you got your blue, your fragment blue. You got your white. You got your black. You got your tan colors in it. Look at that beautiful tumbled leather on that tan on the swoosh right there. It is so premium once again, like, uh, to get this, I don't even know what I would do if I got this. Like, if it does for some odd reason stay up at that $3,000 price point, like, I'm saving up for a house. I'm, like, looking at my sneaker wall right here to my right. It would be cool to have that spinning around, you know, or just kind of like in a special case. But if it's $3,000, I don't see how I cannot just let that go. Rake in that $3,000. Boom. That's another $3,000 I could put down on the house. So, beside the point, in that number one is going to have the Fragment Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lowe's. That's going to do it for the video of the top 10 sneakers of the month of August. Let's get at it, boys. And let's have ourselves a great month of copying sneakers. Peace.